In the bulletin with hardline stance from government and the doctors union, which could derail the negotiation to have them return to work after 33 days in the streets. The Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union says that they will not return to work until they finalize negotiations with the government over the 2017 CBA and agree on a back-to-work formula. On its part, the government, through the head of public service, Felix Kosge, has questioned how the CBA was arrived at without the involvement of Treasury, who are supposed to advise on whether its implementation is sustainable or not. Kosge insists that the government can only afford to pay intern doctors 70,000 shillings and not the 206,000 shillings negotiated earlier. Surrounded by police officers, doctors from Wasingishu County began their peaceful protests inside Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret. Armed with banners and vuvuzelas, they marched in the streets of Eldoret, demanding for the implementation of the 2017 CBA. At some point, the doctors came face to face with a group that tried to stop their procession. However, after a brief negotiation, they were allowed to continue with their protests. Madaktari siyo watu ambao munafamu watumie guns. Madaktari munafamu wonge na polisi. Kama kuna jambo lolote la kuzungumza, baina yetu na migomo na maandamano yetu, Mutulete watu ambao wako responsible. Ikifika ni madaktari, oh, wage bill, oh, sijui serikali, oh, we live within our midst. Hiyo ni parojo na sisi ya tuwezi kubali kwa sababu tunajua what doctors have been earning since 2011, even before the CBA. We know the rates and what the CBA terms dictate, that is what we are going to take. But as they continued with their protest in Eldoret back in Nairobi, Solidarity forever! Officials from three healthcare workers' unions were meeting ahead of the planned demonstration to be held in Nairobi on Tuesday. KMPDU, KUKO and NAMLO officials announcing that they will not end the strike until their demands are met and criticized Inspector General of Police Jafet Gome over his directive to police commanders to deal with protesting healthcare workers. There's no amount of threats, no amount of victimizations or intimidation that will make us suspend this particular strike. We will have to sit and have a return to work agreement that actually spells out protections of the collective bargaining agreement that was signed. There is no any other way out of it. As health workers, we are well-meaning Kenyans. Our demonstrations have always been peaceful and we have presented petitions. And this is not going to change because of the threats, because of victimization. And tomorrow, 16th Tuesday, we will be on the streets as per the Article 37. The healthcare workers who have criticized the government for failing to call them back to the negotiating table to resolve the stalemate. They have proposed a formation of a task force to look into the other long-term issues affecting the health sector. I think it's high time that they have a clear task force to look into these workforce issue that our, our, our workers that has, has failed to be handled for over the years because we saw they did one for education uh, we have seen one for security we have seen one for prison and they give actual implementable frameworks. Head of Public Service Felix Koske, who was the chief guest at the National Wage Bill Conference, has however called for scrutiny of the 2017 CBA signed. Koske says the deal was reached without consulting the National Treasury. Somebody in some corner sits down, down signs collective bargaining agreement without consulting Treasury, without consulting the trends, micro and macro trends in the country and thereby bringing industrial actions. That is the most ambitious CBA that we ever had. As long as we continue allowing unions to negotiate and push us into corners during the, those very opportune times, the country will continue suffering. The hard stance is coming at a time when public hospitals in the country are deserted with patients having to wait for the strike to end and the few who are able seeking medical service in private facilities.